Let's calculate surface area. If I look at lateral surface area of a cylinder, I take the perimeter of the circle multiplied by h. This would be similar to a label on a soup can. But SOLIDWORKS calculates total surface area, which is the lateral surface area plus the top surface in this case, which is pi r squared, plus the bottom surface, which is also pi r squared. So I am looking at total surface area. Notice I have pi and r in each one of the terms. With a little bit of algebra factoring, I'll take out 2 pi r and multiply by h plus r the quantity h plus r. The total surface area when I substitute will be 2 times pi. My radius is 10. The height is 100. And the radius is 10. Simplifying that expression, my surface area, which is the total surface area for all my geometry, is 20 pi times 110. Let's use a little mental math before we check our answer with SOLIDWORKS. As an approximation, this is 2,200 pi. If pi is 3.14, I should get an answer that's a little bigger than 6,600 for total surface area. Let's take a look at the actual value. Without pulling a calculator, I can get this information right from the Tools property in SOLIDWORKS. Select on the Tools icon, select on the Tools icon, click Measure, select the cylindrical face, the top face for surface area, and the bottom circular face for surface area, and SOLIDWORKS calculates 6,911.